Hey there, Rangers. Welcome. Folks around here call me Goiter. If you're looking for salvage tech, you've come to the right place. Contain Iridium? Whew, that's a tall order. She's already hot in her normal state, but when she fled into that cooling room, she was practically shooting out solar flares. Huh. Now that I think of it, she probably went in there because she was so hot. See, they might look serene, but it hurts to be a radiation angel. They need to offload built-up energy or they'll die. They can't do it around us or we'll die. That's what the pool is for. The angels soak in it and the water safely leaches their energy. In fact, before us and the nucleus split, I was working on a device in there to siphon that energy and... Wait a minute. An idea is coming to me. Okay, got it. We're gonna turn my siphon into a containment device. To do that, we'll need three things. First, there's a particle accelerator on the lab level that has a voltage regulator tough enough to handle her fluctuations. Rip that out. Second, I'm pretty sure I saw a scatter ray emitter in the shipping room near the loading docks that we can use to distribute our shielding material in a bubble around her. And third, the shield itself. The nucleus are using the old brig to hold unwilling subjects for their experiments. They've been using a force field projector to keep irradiated captives contained. We'll need the crystal out of that. Bring all that stuff back to me, and I'll whip you up something that'll hold Iridium long enough to get her through the camp and down the elevator to Deuterium. Though, uh, not much longer than that. Oh, wait, hang on. You won't be able to get any of those things without the access code for the elevators in the entrance lobby. Here it is. ADM 1N1337. Mostly it's salvaged from down in the lab area. I repair what I can and repurpose the rest. There was this one time I converted a handheld cyclotron into a hairdryer. <laughs> Straight your short and curlies in two seconds flat. Wait a second, before we get to that, I think I heard Sister Polyp telling you how Father Bezor's gone missing. But I bet she didn't ask you to save him, did she? She wishes he was. See, if he doesn't come back, then she's the speaker permanently. Stops being Sister Polyp and becomes Mother Polyp. And she'd like that just fine. That... that's not right. The rest of us wouldn't be happy about that. She's a devout primordialist, ain't no denying that. But even her biggest supporters wouldn't call her exactly warm and friendly. More cold and tough. And, I don't know, what with deuterium and the nucleus acting up, maybe we need that. But we love Father Bezor. At least, most of us do. And we want him back, so... If you find he's still alive down there in the security level, I hope you'll consider bringing him home. We'd appreciate it. Thanks. Now, what did you want to buy? Well, hello there. Radiation's blessings to you all. My name's... Boobo. If you've got a hurt that needs mending, or you're looking for a little extra pep in your step, I'm happy to help. What? No, it's because of the swollen nodes all over my body. Big as a cassava melons. It's a sign of the holy radiation's life-given power. Named after an owl? <laughs> the very idea. I can cure most anything with the miracle powers of radiation, but you don't seem injured to me.
you won't find a better selection of radioactive medicines this side of paradise. How go your efforts? Then I would do it. Gaining favor with these people will help our cause immeasurably. Until next time. Holy detonation! It's the Rangers! They're here! In Cheyenne! What? The Rangers? The ones we've been monitoring since they got to Colorado? Are you sure? Totally. I'd recognize those ass clowns anywhere. Shit! They better not find us. They kill everyone they meet. <laughs> this is the Rangers we're talking about. They couldn't find their way out of a shirt. Weird. Oh shit! The mic's on. They can hear us. Crap! I... Oh well. Fuck it. Hi, Rangers. You miserable fucks. <laughs> in Cheyenne who knows how to clear a colony is Father Bezor. So you're gonna have to find out which cell he's in and talk to him, which you should do anyway, since you're gonna rescue him, right? Anyway, did I cover everything? Yeah, they're mostly 
mostly bringing them down to the lab level and messing with them there. But apparently, they're doing some experiments in the cells themselves now, too. Which means, uh, don't let them lock you up. They can control the experiments from the terminals outside the cells. If you're careful, you can. But they've got proximity sensors, so back up quick if you get too close. And now that you mention it, sneaking's probably the way to go down there. Get as much intel as you can before you make a move. You may even be able to turn off one or two of the shutoff switches before they spot you. There's a special security wing on the left-hand side facing the main prison area. I've never gone in there, but I know it's filled with traps and there's definitely something in that cell at the end. We've heard it. Creepy. None of us ever had the courage to open it. Some things are better left alone, if you know what I mean. On the other side, there's a backup monitor room. In case there was a prison riot or something, might be able to spy on parts of the cell block from there, maybe. And that's about it. Good luck. Maybe you'll find something that'll help you in the brig. Great. Just remember, find Father Bezor, clear the tumor colony, kill the power, get the crystal from the force field projector. And good luck in there. Goiter out. Rangers, this is Sister Polyp. I wanted to speak to you privately. I know the Proteus asked you to rescue Father Bezor, and I too am concerned for his well-being. But I am more concerned for the well-being of the Primordialists as a whole. Bezor is a wise and gentle man, but the actions of the Nucleists have shown that we need more forceful leadership, if the Faith is to survive. Father Bezor has tried to negotiate with Deuterium. He's appealed to his conscience. He's got down on his knees and begged. Nothing's worked. It's time to leave our pacifist ways behind and fight for what we want. Is she really going to ask us? If Bezor were to die in captivity, we would all grieve. But he would become a martyr to the cause and inspire us to deeds of valor and generosity. I hope I am making myself clear. What I am saying is, though Bezor is a good man, he is not a strong man. He will not be able to help you fight the Nucleists. Once I'm in charge, I will. And I'm not just talking about thoughts and prayers. I mean tangible aid, weapons, armor, better deals for the things you'll need to deal with Deuterium. Think about it, Rangers. Sister Polyp out. Hey, remember this? The Rangers are cleaning up their base and find some poor, starving prisoner who's been trapped in the brig for years. But do they free him? Do they feed him? Not the Rangers! They leave him to rot in his cell and eat mushrooms grown from his own poop? Come on, asshole! If you want a pet, get a puppy! Or actually, don't. No way I'd trust you jerks with a dog. Who? Oh, outsiders. Uh, did Sister Polyp send you? Are you here to rescue me? Because I've been waiting for a long time. My name's Brother Call. I'm with the Primordialists. Uh, Sister Polyp sent me to spy on the Nucleus, and I, uh, I got caught. I've been here ever since, and it's been a long time, and I'm kind of surprised, actually, that I haven't been rescued. Sister Polyp said I was her number one spy, so you would think that would mean she'd send someone to look for me if I didn't come back, but, uh, maybe that's you, is it? 
Are you here for me? Does Sister Polyp miss me? Oh, I sure miss her. Oh, well, that's strange. Maybe she didn't want to reveal my secret work to strangers. <laughs> yeah, that must be it. It's super important. Anyway, I have lots to report to her. Can you let me out of here so I can get back to her? Stay here? But, but I've got to get back to Sister Paula. She's going to be so worried. I... Okay. Well, I'll just be here then. I guess. I... What was that? Ooh. Hold on now. You're not one of us. And you're not primordialists either. What's going on here? Sister Strontium, if it's any business of yours. But what are you doing in the detention area? Only us Nucleus are allowed to be here. That's between me and them. Now answer my question, what are you doing here? What? It, no! I'm waiting for my trial so I can defend myself against these ridiculous charges. And turning in you outsiders will do wonders for my case. Guards! Guards! Over here! There are strangers in the cell block! Help! Who are you? Why are you fighting the nucleus? Uh, never mind. <laughs> You're busy. But if you're here to free me, you need to take the key in that locker to the Tuma Colony block in the door at the back and play this tune. That'll clear the door so you can get in and shut down the field generator that powers this force field. Control room blocked. Please contact base support. going offline. you guys anyway the desert rangers who are you i'm a father bezor of the primordialist and i'm kind of surprised to see unbelievers down here uh, you didn't uh, uh you didn't kill your way here did you like all those mutants just inside the entrance mutants like me they're my flock uh, uh, I mean, my congregation. <laughs> I was kind of hoping they'd come rescue me, so I hope they're still uh, alive. What? Uh, this is terrible. I mean, thank you for saving the Proteus, but I've got to get back there. Uh, did you kill Deuterium? Now, it must have been the one to the energy storage facility, which means we're at an impasse again. 
he can't get the Proteus's code and we can't get his, so neither of us can enter the chamber of the Holy Detonation. Ugh, it's so stupid. If Deuterium would just listen to reason, we could all share its warmth together. The rift between the Primordialists and the Nucleists could be healed. We were all family once, and I believe we can be again. I don't know how. I, I just... I just keep hoping for a miracle that the Holy Detonation will provide. Uh, anyway, if you're here to get me out, let's get started, because I need to get back. <laughs> well, every so often I come down into the lower levels to search for flesh tumors. They tend to wander, you see, and when frightened or agitated, they clump together and form colonies uh, like the one here in the detention level. I also wanted to see what sort of experiments the Nucleists were performing down here, as I suspect their work distressed the tumors and caused them to cluster in the first place. They are blasting unmutated subjects with very high doses of blessed radiation, hoping to unlock the mysteries of ascension. <laughs> they believe that the right combination of devotion and radiation will transform them all into angels like Iridium. But the Holy Detonation works in mysterious ways. The Radiation Angels are a miracle, a, a gift. A deuterium is a fool to think that he or anyone else can become divine simply by flipping a switch, much though he might wish it. They think I can control the flesh tumors and demand it to know my secret. I suspect they want to use the poor things in their experiments. I tried to tell them I can only calm them a little, but they refuse to believe me. Deuterium has poisoned their minds with his hubris. <sighs> oh, brother, how did you lose your way? Oh, yeah, that one has been baffling me. All the others have responded to the tune I taught you before. This one, no reaction. I'm guessing we just haven't found the right tune to calm it yet. If you know any songs, I'd give them a try. And if you do find one that works, well, you're welcome to whatever you find in that crate. The tumor colony has been sticking to it for so long, <laughs> I've forgotten what's in there. Oh, what? No, she didn't. She would never say anything like that. You must have uh, misunderstood her. Oh, there must have been. Sister Polyp is the best of us, the most truly devoted to oneness and sharing the glow. I love her. We all love her. Sheesh. When we get back to the camp, you'll see. <laughs> so silly. Oh, thank you. Uh, the console there opens the door. Just be careful which button you push. I got a look at the menu as they were throwing me in here, and there's a way to kill me without opening the cell. Also, an option to blast me with radiation. Uh, the radiation option is actually kind of tempting, <laughs> uh, but becoming one with the glow would be selfish right now when they need me back at the camp. Uh, so you better just let me out. Thanks, friends. <laughs> Praise the glow. you have done. As soon as I pull myself together, I'll get back to the camp and see what I can do about this situation with Deuterium. Walk in the light of the Holy Ted Nation. says 
since you disconnected the crystal from the force field generator. That's great. I, uh, couldn't see Father B's or Cell from here, so I hope you got him out okay. Anyway, now all you need is a scatter ray emitter from the load and dock level and the voltage regulator from the lab level. Then we'll have all we need to put together Iridium's containment device. Keep on keeping on, Rangers. Goiter out. Oh, wow. Thanks, you guys. I can't believe I'm free at last. As soon as I get the feeling back into my legs, I'm going to go back and see Sister Polyp and let her know I'm okay. See you back at the camp. The Rangers were so preoccupied with whether or not they could, they didn't stop to think if they should, and made a clone. And <laughs> what a clone! Stupid Goop couldn't find its ass with both hands! <laughs> they must have used their own DNA. Rangers, this is Sister Polyp. I see you did not do as I hoped you would. This is disappointing. When Bezor returns to the camp, I will have to return to my corner, faceless again. But this will not be the end for me, Rangers. I promise you that. Sister Polyp out. Listen! The Rangers are right outside the door! They found us! We're doomed! Would you calm down? Get the grate off the vent. Now. Okay. Okay. Fuck! Stop panicking. Just... Ugh. Let me do it. They can see everywhere. Even our base. <sighs> Hello, Rangers. Isn't this nice? The Primordialists have allowed me the use of this computer to investigate Cheyenne's systems and records. Oh, I assumed it was only a model. Hmm. Uh, but listen, digging into the old logs here has given me an idea of how we can better ingratiate ourselves with the Primordialists. You see, when we first met, Brother Carbuncle talked about how frustrating it was that no one could know how the Holy Detonation's radiation would transform them. That made me wonder if these old research logs could help me find a way to predict this, even influence it. They haven't revealed an answer yet, but there are some promising leads, and I may have something before long. Uh, also, speaking of radiation, you seem to be a bit irradiated yourselves. I may be able to help you draw that radiation from your bodies. Then you're in luck. You see, while you've been helping the Proteus, I've been tinkering. You know those glowing radiation detection rods the Primordialists wear as talismans? It seems, over time, they draw radiation from the body. Well, I found a way to speed up the absorption rate, and used some to construct radiation batteries. They're quite handy. Set one to charge, and it'll draw radiation from the nearest source, which would be, uh, you. You'll feel immediate relief. Here, I've made two already, and you can make more yourselves. All you need are some rods and a few bits and pieces. Here's a list and a diagram. They should keep you safe while you're here. Now, how go things? Aside from their habit of drinking and bathing in irradiated water and worshipping a time-dilated nuclear explosion, they seem nice enough. But I wouldn't forget that they are fanatics just like the Nucleists. They will not see things with the clear-headed logic of scientifically trained thinkers such as ourselves. 
Ah, good. So you're one step closer to building his containment device. Excellent. Did you make any other interesting discoveries on the security level? Horrible. It's very sad to see that even in the most peaceful of cults, envy and ambition lurk beneath the surface. At least you didn't take her up on her offer. I saw the Primordialists welcome Bezor back to the camp not five minutes ago. Was there anything else of interest down there? How disturbing. Uh, but what could they say? With the Ranger's sterling reputation, surely they could have nothing to comment on. Was there anything else of interest down there? So I see. What a peculiar creature. Uh, when we have more time, I'd like to examine it more closely. Try to determine its genus and phalum. Was there anything else of interest down there? Hmm. I see. Oh well. Uh, Rangers, wait. I almost forgot. I was told the Proteus wished to speak with you after you had dealt with Father Bezor. You should go see them. Until next time. You know, people can call the Rangers the saviors of Arizona for saving it from the base Coach's AI. Twice. Yeah, and they should call them the Liberators of Aspen for saving so many people from Big Buchanan sick games there. And they should call them the Heroes of the Bazaar for saving it from the Piazzas. Yeah, they should. They really should, but... Get back one robot. <laughs> robot fuckers! <laughs> Fucking pervert sicko rangers. <laughs> You're all completely disgusting! Thanks again for rescuing me from the Nucleists. I'm so happy to be back with my friends here beside the Proteus. <laughs> oh, Proteus, that's really sweet of you. And the Proteus also thanks you for rescuing me. They say they missed me. <laughs> Saying she asked you to leave me in my cell? <laughs> oh, no way. Uh, she would never do such a thing. Uh, the Proteus says you must have misunderstood her, which happens too often when beings are not all one. <laughs> they love Sister Pollum, as do we all. Uh, let's not talk about this again. Now, uh, before you go, how's it going with the device to capture Iridium? Excellent. That's a good start. Thank you, Rangers. May the flow bless you. Still a sister thanks to you. <laughs> Rangers! Thanks a million for rescuing Father Bezor. It's so great to see him back at his old post. And nice to see Polyp sulking too, if I'm honest. Here's a little something for helping bring him back. Now, what's happening? Fantastic! 
Hold on to it until you got all three. Then bring them all to me. Go with the flow, Rangers. Get this done, Rangers. ASAP.